What's going on people and welcome to another video today and it's a bit of a different new one again today exploring my options at the moment with different content and this one today is ranking all the leaked European kits so far there is 14 of them so I hope you enjoy it guys and let me know yours in the comments as well but I'm going to go from 14th down to 1 and at 14th place we've got Inter Milan Now for me this one I like Inter Milan, I've always been a fan of their kits, a lot of theirs, but this one I think they got majorly wrong. I feel like it's there's there's too much black on it, there's too much dark. I don't think they've got the balance right in terms of the stripes and the width of them. Blue's fine on it, but the black ruins it. I just feel like it's a lazy design. It looks very like sort of 90s, which I usually like, like the bagginess of it, but it just looks like almost like a training top or something and I just feel like they got it very wrong. I just don't like the black stripes on it and, and like the panel sort of design on the front of it. I think it ruins it. So 14th place into Milan home shirt for this upcoming season. In 13th place, we've got PSG. Again, uh, it looks more like a racing car driver top or something like it just doesn't look like a football top to me um i like the fact that they've got the the badge in the center of the chest piece but and i quite like the night tick under it but you've got that big white middle bit down there and it red on the outside of it bordering it and it just doesn't look like it literally looks like a sticker has been stuck onto a plain blue shirt and I, I just think it's lazy compared to some of the other designs they've had since they partnered up with jordan i think it looks just rubbish um the picture i've got obviously what you will see in the video as well i don't know if they're gonna have a sponsor in between there but I, even with a sponsor i just think that they've got it all wrong um i think that bit in the middle is too thick and it just looks lazy and it looks like someone's literally just stuck it on so for me horrible uh don't like it at all 13th place psg home kit atletico madrid in 12th place now this one's got more of a wavy design um it, it could make you feel probably a bit drunk when you're watching it um because of the design of the wavy lines i'm not a massive fan of it to be honest it's different i'll give it that it reminds me of the usa shirt from the world cup which was, what was that, 1994, the home shirt that they had. I'm just not a fan of it, because you've got the, the lines coming down on the middle of the shirt where they're all over the place. And it joins up, but it's like an arc, and it doesn't even join into place with the stripes and that. So for me, it just looks a bit messy, and it kind of reminds me of um, the Christmas cane sticks you can get. And I just think it's horrible, to be honest. I know they've tried to be very different with it. I wasn't a fan of their kit last season either, the home one, so... Not a fan of this one either, I'm afraid. Atletico Madrid, home kit, 12th place. In 11th place, we got Bayern Munich. This was more so just the fact that I don't really feel like they've changed their kit a whole lot. They never really change it up that much. It's a bit boring. Um, I, I just think the stripes going across it, the white stripes, I just... Yeah, I'm not a fan of it, to be honest. I don't like the big gold... Uh, crest bit in the middle i'm not a fan of that i don't mind their sponsor with a t-mobile i think that looks okay and i think it looks quite good to be honest and i like the badge with the stars obviously um and the sleeves and the collar i don't actually mind with the white um trimming bits but i just don't like the actual torso bit of the shirt um i think it's a bit lazy and not different enough from previous seasons so for me just not enough change in this one um and it falls to slow down so buy munich home 11th place. Coming in at number 10, we've got AC Milan home shirt. Um, I'm not a fan of the big black side bits with the sleeves. Um, I feel like, again, similar to the PSG one, even though it's a different brand in terms of Puma to Nike, it literally looks like the stripe bits in the middle have just been stuck on, um, on top of a black shirt. And it just doesn't look balanced enough for me. Um, and then you've got the Italian trimmings on the on the sleeve bits. Which I do quite like, but I don't... Apart from the badge in the middle of the, the chest for the Italy flag, I just don't think it goes. There's just too much going on in it. And I don't think that they got the, the torso bit of the shirt right again. So 
For me, not a big fan of it. I'd have liked it more if it was like last season's, where it's more overall balance of stripes and it's just too much black on it and it just looks, again, like lazy designing for me. It looks more like a training top, so not a fan of it. Tenth place. Ninth place, we've got Lil's home kit. This one, I will give it that it's a bit different. I quite like Lil's badge and the, the New Balance sponsor. The New Balance brand as well is, is, I think it looks good on the shirt, but I don't like the sleeves. I'm not majorly against the, the kazoo sponsor and, and the pattern on the front of the shirt, but I just, I just again, they, a lot of these look like training tops to me. And for me, it's just a bit, Blech. So for me, this one falls at ninth place. Coming in at eighth place, we've got Barcelona. Home shirt. I'm a bit mixed on this one. Um, the Spotify sponsor, I think, fits the shirt nicely. It's not too big, it's not too small. I think they got that spot on. I think the Nike tick as well, matching with the, the, the gold of the Spotify, I think matches. And the badge itself as well, I think... It fits the shirt nicely. But again, we've got them dark blue shoulder bits. I just don't think it's not fluid with the front of the shirt in the middle part where the stripes are. I, I don't even mind the stripes that, that much, to be honest, in terms of the, the shades of stripes. and But it's the shoulder bit for me in the neck part where it's just navy or like the darkness. I just think it... It just doesn't, it's not fluid enough and it and it doesn't look like a proper football shirt to me. So it's not one I hate, but I think they could have done a lot better. Um, but I probably would say I prefer it to last season's home kit. So there's a bit of a upside to it, but overall, I think it could have been a bit better. Barcelona, eighth place. Coming in at seventh place, we've got Juventus. Gone quite different this time. They've gone with the triangle patterns going up the shirt as stripes. Um, I think it's a cool design how they did that. I'm not a massive fan of it from a distance. Um, I don't think it looks great. I feel like there's too much white on it. Um, I would have preferred just solid black stripes, I think, with a little bit less white as well. I don't like the new Juventus badge. I never liked it since they changed it. I think it looks too big and just a bit... I just, I'm not a fan of it. And the Adidas sponsor, I think, looks okay. And the Jeep sponsor on the front, I'm not too sure about because I don't mind Jeep as a sponsor, but they've got like a lightning effect going through it. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. It looks a little bit cartoonish for me. So I'm not a massive fan of it, but it's by no means the worst kit on this list. I don't hate it, but I just feel a little bit like... I think they try to be too clever with it and try to do a little bit too much. But it's, I don't hate it, but I just think they, they could have simplified it a bit. Not too bad. Juventus, seventh place. Sixth place, we've got Champions League holders, Real Madrid. Gone with a very uh, slick, smart design with the collar. The little black trimming on the collar as well. The black Emirates fly better on the front with a badge and the black Adidas. And then the all-out white shirt, I think it's smart, as I said. I think it's pretty simple. I don't think they changed it too much. It's obviously got the button bit in, in the middle as well for the, the neck. Um, I do like the collar a lot. And then you've got the, the purple sort of lilac -y Adidas stripes on the shoulder panel bit. Which I, I do quite like, but I don't necessarily feel like it goes with the rest of the shirt. Because it's, I, I think it would have gone better if it was just the black stripes to match the front of the shirt. So that would be my little little bit of criticism with it. But a very smart shirt and one that I wouldn't mind rocking myself, to be honest. So Madrid, sixth place. Fifth place, we've got Porto. I like their badge a lot. It's very colourful and, and stands out and pops. Um, I don't like the gold bit in the middle with the... the the championship, I'm, I suppose that's the Superliga um, trophy that they've they obviously won. I'm just not a fan of them gold championship sticker bits, whatever you call them, on the shirts, to be honest. So for me, I'm not a fan of the middle bit. Um, the New Balance, I think, fits well onto the blue stripe. And then you've got the Mio, or I don't know how you pronounce it, sponsor in the middle. 
which I think looks a little bit weird. Uh, but I think overall it looks quite smart. It's not too overcomplicated. They, they haven't done tried to do too many different colours. Um, and I think it's overall it's a pretty steady shirt. Um, I would take the gold piece out of the middle, obviously. But other than that, um, and maybe the sponsor change. But uh, I don't mind it too much. Porto, home shirt, fifth place. Fourth place, we've got Borussia Dortmund. It's a bit of a weird one, but I do quite like it. I like that they've kept the stripes, even though they've split them a bit, and sort of split in the middle with a one-to-one -one sponsor. Um, I would have preferred it if it was just solid stripes all the way through, but I don't think it's going too far away from what they usually do with their kits, um, and they're keeping that famous design of the stripes, of the black and the yellow. Um, I like the, the yellow puma over it as well. Um, going on to the black slightly on the stripes and I also like the badge with the Dortmund badge And I like how the collar sort of blends in with the the two central stripes as well So for me pretty nice kit here The only thing I would change would have solid stripes all the way through but I guess without sponsor It's kind of hard unless you change the colors up a bit fourth place Borussia Dortmund number three we've got Frankfurt I think this is a really smart shirt. I think it's very simple, but it pops. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the sponsor with the Indeed thing, but I think it's just about the right size. Could be a little bit smaller. But I like the badge, how it's black and fits in with the white. Um, and they've just kept it very simple, but it's very effective for me. And I like shirts like this. I like the collar. I like the sleeve parts. Um, the trimmings are the black as well. The black and the white, I don't think you can go wrong with that if you do it properly. And I don't think they've tried to make it overcomplicated at all. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of it. Simplicity, but I really like the black and the white blend. So, Frankfurt, well done. Third place. Second place, we've got Rangers. I really like their badge with just the lettering where it overlaps each other. Um, the Castore is very small, but I, I like how small they've put it, to be honest, because it, it doesn't take away from the shirt too much in terms of just being like, look at me. I think it, it adds to the simplicity of the shirt. Um, love the collar of the, the red trimming bit on it with the white. I think it mixes and blends in well with the blue. And I like the, the sleeves on it as well. And I like, I'm not a fan of the sponsor with a 32 red. But in terms of it just blending in with the colours, with the white, the red and, and the blue, I think it, it's a very good blend. And um, I like the little, it's got detailed patterns on it when you zoom in as well. And I just like the, the material of it by the looks of it. So big fan of it. I think Rangers have done very well again with their shirt. Um, it looks more old school to me. So yeah, big fan of it. Second place, Rangers. And then number one, we've got Ajax. I like that they've gone with the, the red and the white and kept that as, as normal as you can be with what you come to know Ajax kits as. I love the white Adidas on it over the red. I like the Zigu sponsor. I think it is, it's just the right size. And I love the badge, the size of the badge. The stars over it and I like the gold blend of the, the neck. The Adidas red stripes on the shoulder. and the red and the gold again on the on the end of the sleeves so big fan of this shirt um and i like that it's a solid a little bit contradictory to, compared to some of the older kits earlier um the, the first ones i did like the psg where there's that thick band down the middle but i think that they got the balance right on this and i think it looks a beautiful shirt and it's more to what you've seen in the past from my as well they haven't gone away from what they do a lot so I love this kit, hence why it's number one. Um, there wasn't a great ton to, to choose from between Rangers and Ajax for me for first place, but I just think this nicks it with the, the detail in terms of the, as I said, the red and the white, um, the gold on the on the neck bit that blends in well with the red, and then you got it on the sleeves as well with, with the Adidas stripes on the, on the shoulder as well with the red. So I think it's a very slick shirt, really like it, massive fan of it, as I said. And I'd definitely love to wear it, even though I'm not an Ajax supporter, because I just love good football shirts. 
So that is my European leaked kit so far, guys. Um, these are the home kit, and I will maybe do an away one if enough of them get leaked within enough time before the season starts, because once the season starts up, there's going to be a lot of other content from me in terms of Premier League stuff. So I might do another one of these at some point, but Thursday, guys, we've got the top 10 coming. Someone has voted, and there is a winner at the moment. So as far as I know, Thursday, there is a winner right now. If not, as I said, I will pick the winner myself. But thank you to everyone that's voted on that. Look out for Thursday with a top 10. Let me know yours in the comments, guys, for these leaked kits as well. 1 to 14th, and then show me your rankings. Hope you have a good day, people. I'll speak to you soon.